Hello, today I'm going to go over some of the basics of earthquakes. So we're going to talk about the reason that we have earthquakes. Um, that's how we're going to start this off. And we've talked a little bit about plate tectonics. And this is the earth. It looks a little bit different because what you're seeing here are the large rock plates that make up the crust of the earth. And they're huge. You know, they're as big as continents or bigger in some cases. And it's like a cracked egg. All of these plates, though, are touching each other. So they border each other and are pushed up against each other. So the Earth's crust is broken into multiple plates. And these plates will grind against each other. Now it's that grinding against each other that is important for earthquakes because what happens is tension starts to build up as these plates are touching each other at the border. Tension builds. It doesn't move constantly. They, they push against each other. Tension builds, 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 and then finally breaks. And it's that break that causes the earthquakes. So as plates try to slide past each other, tension builds up. Eventually the rock breaks and that rebound is known as an earthquake. So it's that release of tension. When that happens, that is an actual earthquake. All right, now we're seeing a side view of two pieces of crust. Here is one plate and here is another plate. One of these is actually going underneath the other. So all along here is where they're touching, okay? And the break can happen anywhere below the surface where the two plates touch. So you could get a break at any point along here and get an earthquake that happens. Now, a little bit of terminology and vocabulary. We've talked about, or you might've heard about the epicenter of an earthquake. And you see that the earthquake is actually below the surface. It's not at the surface, it's below the surface. But the epicenter, the epicenter of an earthquake is on the surface. We always talk about the epicenter as where, it, where we see it on the surface here. This is the spot on the surface that is directly above the break. So it's directly above where that break actually happened. All right, the shaking that we experience. There's many types of waves that come out of this break and when that tension's released. So I'm just gonna talk about a couple of basic ones here. Um, there are things known as P waves. So when you get an earthquake, when that, that rock breaks, you get those vibrations. One of the types is P waves. And these are compressional waves. So waves move out from the break in all directions. P waves compress or squeeze the rock together. And you see the squeezing and releasing, squeezing, releasing happens all the way through the rock. So that it's constantly going like this through the rock. That's just P waves. Now there's other types of waves, in this case, S waves. And S waves don't move like P waves. S waves move kind of up and down. So S waves move up and down. This kind of wave looks more like an ocean wave. You know how an ocean wave also moves up and down. And those waves move just like an ocean wave. They propagate out from the epicenter. All right, these are just some basics. Hope that helps. Thanks.